Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. Today is day three of DIY Dollar Tree Ornament Week. This time we're gonna do sort of tag ornaments. We're gonna use these new tag chalkboard tags from the Dollar Tree, but I wanted to show you that you can get chalkboard tags really inexpensively at places like Holler, Walmart, Target Dollar Spot. Uh, I think these are actually from the Target Dollar Spot, 99 cent only store, five below. They all have their variety of um, chalkboard tags that you can do this project with. We're also going to use the white paint brush pen from the Dollar Tree and we're going to use beads. Um, these are the wooden beads from the Dollar Tree. I like that ivory colored one and the red ones for this project and any embellishments. Ribbon if you'd like to switch the twine they give you out with cotton jute, uh, with baker's twine, you could switch that up. Your own personal preference. Now these round ones are paper. They're really heavy duty paper, don't get me wrong, but they're paper. Um, the ones that I just showed you, which are actually tag shaped already, are a little bit, uh, like sort of a little bit thicker, hardly thicker at all, but a little bit thicker paper than this. Um, what I'm doing is just to show you how you can customize these because they're paper. So I'm just tracing a circle around. I basically trace the, the shape around. Um, and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to fold the circle in half and I'm going to create a tag shape, which is so easy. You need zero skills. I'm not kidding. If you can hold a scissor and cut a straight line, that's the skills you need. <laughs> All we're going to do is we're going to put our ruler width against the fold and then make a straight line down the other side and then cut it didn't go through I wrote on the, uh, sh the I wrote on the ruler instead um, and then we're going to do is we're going to square that off and you can use the ruler to square it off if you want to I'm just using the edge of the ruler to square it off and we're going to do the same with the top you can freehand it if you want to you could square it off and then we're going to cut the corner off the top and that's it now I'm trimming the corner and I'm trimming the tag down just to make it as narrow as I want it to be but you can do whatever size you want it to be but as long as you cut within that circle you'll be able to use that template to cut out this tag. Now you want to remove the string because when we cut the top off over the little eyelet, we want to make sure that we don't cut the string off. Now I pressed on the paper with where the eyelet was to basically to feel it to see it and then drew it in with the Sharpie so I knew where it was so I can line it up for the future tags as I cut them. Okay, and then I just line them up, cut the tags out. I decided to make keep one round. I'm only doing three with this particular package. Um, two I'm going to cut in tag shape and one I'm going to leave round. Um, just to show you the different options. Obviously, tons of options. Um, I have seen these tag ornaments all over Pinterest for like two years. I've been trying to like, where can I make them? When Dollar Tree finally started carrying chalkboard tags, I was super excited to be able to do them for you. Um, this other package I wanted to show you, as you just saw, are wood. So you can't cut them down. I mean, you, couldn't, can't, you could cut them down. You just can't cut them down as easily. Plus, they're already decorated. Now, to achieve that stitch line that's on that heart, I want to show you on here. I'm just going to take that same template, and I'm just going to pull it in about a sixteenth of an inch on three sides. And then I'm just going to freehand a dash line. Basically, pick up my pen, dash, pick up my pen, dash pick up my pen dash and so on and so on and then I'm going to repeat this all the way around I'm going to do the same thing on the opposite side and on the end and I'm not looking for uniformity because I like that handmade look um, if you are looking for un uniformity you can do this on your with your ruler you know just use your ruler and then you know you can do your dashes a quarter inch long or whatever and then it's time to personalize it. So I just wanted this particular one to say, Mary, I was trying this brush. People were asking about these brush pens and callig you know, that, that calligraphy that we use now, the farmhouse calligraphy. So I was just giving it a shot. I thought I would try it. it I mean, yeah, I'm not, I'm not great at it. I just got to keep practicing. Um, and then I just decided to do like a very, very thin font, um, maybe Ray Dunn inspired type of font, but it's really just a thin aerial font. Um, and I wrote peace on the heart because I feel like peace and love go really well together. Okay, it reminds me of my sister Julie. That's how she always ends her posts, peace and love. So, um, and then the, <laughs> the joy is not my favorite one that came out, but you know, hey, you got to practice. It's all about practicing. Practice makes progress, right? Um, and then just do any kind of like hand scriggle border around there. And this one I drew on some snowflakes. No matter what I was going to do with the border or the word, I knew I wanted to put snowflakes on it because that's going to match our embellishment. 
And then for the final one, we're going to use um, just a thin font to write the, and then my last name, and then the word family, really, really thin and tiny, which this brush actually did really, really well. I was very pleasantly surprised. I added the year, and now I'm just putting tiny little hearts around the outside, and I'm not worrying about them being even or perfect. Um, the fact that this is sort of a paintbrush marker is kind of creating some of them to be filled in, some of them to stay outlined, and that's okay too. I really do enjoy that. Um, now, as far as the embellishments are concerned, just like the rest of our ornament week, these are all customizable to your preference, to your design, to your budget. Um, what we're going to do is we're going to take some of the beads from the Dollar Tree. I took some of the big ones. I like the big ones for these tags. Um, we're just going to put the ivory ones on one of the tags and then red ones on another tag but you can do all or as little as you want you could use these beads or pony beads you can use the pearls Dollar Tree sells pearls plus you can get your supplies from other stores as well I actually just recently acquired a box of natural colored beads from Amazon which I'm excited to dig my hands into I really am um, just like yesterday when we were working with the cotton cord we wanted to make sure we laid it flat so it wouldn't twist up on us um, we want to do the same thing here um, now with working with these beads obviously they're from the Dollar Tree every once in a while you have to clean out the hole um, from little burrs that will catch on your string so I just take a regular skewer these aren't the fancy expensive skewers these are just the regular all the time skewers um, and I just go ahead and drill the hole out with the skewer and sometimes I even use the skewer to push the string through now for this particular first set of beads what I decided to do was to string the beads on um, attach through the hole in the connector and sort of create like how I would with the loop but it was only like with half a string which is weird but you'll see so I created the loop passed the beads through the loop and now I have like the beads and a string coming through um, all connected there hold on it's just giving me a little problems right about here. Okay, so what I decided to do is add a little bit of hot glue, then slide the beads down, basically doubled up the string. Um, now, you could have just done this in the beginning. I just find it more difficult to get that loop of fabric through the beads. If you have a plastic darning needle, like kind of when you do plastic canvas, that might work, or a beading needle, that would work as well. But I find it a little hard to get that loop of fabric through those wooden beads, so that's how I achieved that. And we didn't finish that one yet. We will when we take out the ribbon, okay? And now I'm just going to do, um, basically, I'm showing you here how you can try to get that loop of fabric in the beads. These beads are bigger than the last one, so it's a little bit easier with this one. Um, but what I'm doing is I'm pushing the loop in, and then I'm taking my skewer, and I'm using my skewer to push it all the way through till it comes out the other end. And I think three beads this size is pretty nice. Maybe three, maybe, I don't know, just three. Three, four, I don't know. What do you think? I think three is enough. Um, and then we're just going to do the same thing. We're going to pass the loop through front to back, pull the beads through. I always like to put, put the loop front to back because it does create that nice little, um, the way you see the bottom of the loop come across the two strings in the front. And now we just tied off the other end. We created, we created a connector. And then we're going to just add a ribbon. I'm just adding a ribbon by creating like um, the ribbon that we're going to tie a string around, which is basically you take sort of like a support ribbon shaped, you close it onto itself, and then you tie the string around the middle. Um, and then I'm just adjusting it. I'm zhuzhing it. And then I'm going to uh, make sure it's faced in the right direction, add a little hanger at the top. So it's going to be like tree, ribbon, beads, tag, like that. Okay. And then for the one with our last name on it, I decided to show you just a few options. You can just add a bow just directly to, um, to the top of the tag. Just like we did yesterday, you can add bows to the top of the loops or you can add bows to the top of the tag. It's entirely up to you. But this one, I'm just going to cut the wires off. This one was from Walmart. If you remember, $1.97 got me six pre-made bows. Uh, I said that was a really good deal. This is a black and white check wire edged ribbon it's really nice um, then I just add glue to it flip it over so it can set now we're back to this first one again I went ahead and I created that little noose at the top like I do sometimes um, and then just cut off the end of the string 
And then we're going to add this ribbon is from Hobby Lobby. I was not fortunate enough to get this black and white gingham from the Dollar Tree when it came out that one time. It didn't come to my market. So, um, yeah, I got it from Hobby Lobby because black and white is my favorite. So, um, and yeah pretty much my whole house <laughs> so we're just going to glue that one to the top of those four beads and then once that's set up we'll deal with the last one this is the joy tag now remember these are just paper tags it's a thick paper so it's handling this ribbon pretty nicely um, so what I just did was I um, put some of that black and red gingham that was a bow those bows were from Hobby Lobby I got four bows each were about 50 inches long for two dollars and fifty cents with the fifty cent fifty percent sale they were having um and then this is just a wooden sticker from the dollar tree snowflake and i just fed it through the middle of the snowflake onto the tag just to create a little 3d embellishment and that's it easy breezy lemon squeezy that's all the things all right so hope you guys really enjoyed this tutorial day three of ornament week um, if you're joining me and you realize this video is very late for today thank you so much for your patience I was not feeling well at all it was the first day in a very long time that I didn't get a video up at midnight so thank you for your patience if you guys have any questions at all go ahead and leave them in the comments down below don't forget to share with friends and family anybody who might be interested in seeing this ornament week don't look at those other tags those are sneak peek for tomorrow <laughs> And if you haven't yet, click subscribe, and when you do, a little bell will pop up. When you ring that bell, YouTube will let you know whenever I upload a new video. And as always, you guys, take care. God bless, and we'll see you next time. Bye.